carbs leaking. We're back on the Kawasaki Bayou today and hopefully by the end of it, all these parts will be turned back into a running four-wheeler. So let's get right into it. Something I probably should have done last time and before this motor goes back in the four-wheeler, I'm going to do a leak down test. So I have it set at top dead center. My leak down tester is all hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and put about 50 pounds of air in it. about 50 pounds in we get we're holding it about 48 that's four percent loss I hear some going past the ring since they're not seated yet not much coming past the valves one other thing I realized I should do is put this reverse cable on since it's pretty hard to get to so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now this bracket goes on the back and the bolts go through that's why it's so tricky. Okay, I got it all hooked up now. As you can see when I turn the reverse lever, it's actuating. Not sure if we'll need to adjust it. Now comes the real fun, cleaning this thing up and getting it right. I'm going to go for these back two motor mounts first. It looks pretty aligned. I say that. There we go. My front motor mount now. I'm 
then for this top piece, you gotta put both brackets together. This one I think is like the fender guard one. Now I'm just going to go around and tighten everything up. Now that everything's tightened up, I can go ahead and put the drive shaft bolts in. I'm ready to start wiring this thing up. So the first thing I'm going to do is hook the ground wire up, which goes right here. And you want to make sure it's not your starter cable. They're both black. Now we can hook up the wires for the starter. And this is the wires for the CDI. Back here we have the neutral and reverse sending lights. And they're color coordinated. And the starter wire. So I think this is supposed to go in here like this. Not sure where this one goes. Put it down here. It's not the prettiest wiring setup, but hopefully it'll do. These will reach. Oh, they're like batteries. Okay, I think I kind of got it squared away. I just pointed this one this way, and this had enough. I'm probably going to have to wrap this up with something better here but for now it'll work this thing takes two quarts of oil Also can't forget this breather hose here. Now I'm going to put the shifter on. Finally I can tighten this back down. test here so let me find neutral okay key on there's my neutral light let me see headlights they work um, this is my reverse bulb that's bad I have a new one here so I'm gonna swap it out and 
on my reverse cable here. There's reverse. Neutral, reverse, and the headlights, so we're looking good. I'm gonna try to put this original light cover, dash cover right here back, so I'm guessing it's the green. Push that in, reverse. Now key it on. That's nice. In reverse. I think it's time to hit the starter. Um, my spark plug's not hooked up. No intake, no exhaust, but we'll see. Nothing on the starter. Okay, take two. Turns out you have to turn the engine on. Okay, sounds good to me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set this carburetor up. Get the choke in here. Check the throttle. Looks good. Put my little cap cover on. Gonna put my exhaust gasket in. Make sure that's seated good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put these exhaust gasket things in. All right, I have my spark plug in, external gas. Let's see if she'll fire up. Oh, carbs leaking. Started right up. already so I should probably let that dry Press. it's very yellow oh there's some definitely nasty crap in there Try to remove this. I think this is like the gas gauge. I have another one. Since this one's obviously not working anymore. Yeah. Well, there's no gas gauge. 
All right, now I'll clean all this out, blow it out with compressed air, and it should be good. And I'll also clean this up. Look at this gas. Bottom of it was like full of crap. Got it all cleaned out. I'm gonna go ahead and put my petcock on. Clean this up. Gas tank's on. get my air box all set up now got a fresh air filter to throw in It's been a little while since I last worked on this thing. Um, I tinkered with it. I think I'm ready to finish it up today. I was about to put the gas tank on, which I am now, so I'll show you how it's running and we'll continue on. Start straight up now. I took the front headlights off and plastic welded these tabs back on. I don't know how well it's going to hold, but we'll see. Okay, that should be good. Go ahead and plug them back in. I repaired this plastic with a new gun that embeds metal. I'll show it to you guys sometime, but there it is for now. Now I can put this piece on that has the ignition in the reverse. I'm going to go ahead and stick my ignition in. And the key. Now for the reverse. Just a little thing you got to line up here. Oh.
body is put back together now and it's looking pretty good but it needs one more thing that's right got a brand new set of tires here so let's change them real quick <laughs> I'll show you how to do one front and one back. So to start off here, I'm gonna get this valve core out just to let all the air out quickly. I got this little Harbor Freight tire changer. See if I can break the bead on this. Gonna spray it down soapy water oh, there we go. Good. Now I'm just going to take my tire spins. Get a couple in here. Hopefully I can just spin this around. Flip it over now. The old tire's off. Probably gonna wire wheel this, clean it up a little bit so I can put some more rattle can on it. Both front tires are off the rims. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with a wire brush so I can paint it real quick. If it's gonna work or not, but I'm gonna put some of this citrus strip on it. Let them sit. Now I'll show you the back tire, which is pretty much the same thing, just a bigger rim. This should be interesting to see how this comes off since it's been stretched. Yeah, that bead didn't hold up much. Oh, uh, this had a tube in it. I guess that's how they got it to stretch so much. I'll have to take that out once I break the other bead. I'll have to see if I have a valve stem. Pretty much going to do the same thing with tire spins, just get it up over so I can get the bigger bar in here. Then it's pretty much game over.
that off. I'm gonna probably maybe I can pull this tube out now. Tubes out. Okay, there's one more of these to go. I'm not going to show it. I'll uh, see you after the citrus strip. These front rims are almost done and they're looking good. It's pretty much all just falling off already. So I'm going to go ahead and do the backs. And in about half an hour or an hour, it should be good. Hopefully I'll just rinse it all away. It's not bad. I got as much paint as I could off of these, so moving on, I'm going to be replacing these valve stems. This old one, I'm just going to cut out of here. Got my new valve stem. I'm just going to lube it up a little bit. Stick it in. Thread this on. I got it locked in now. Pops through. Unscrew it. Good to go. I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, valve out of here for when we're uh, trying to seat the tire. I have my new tire here. They are not directional, um, so you can put them on either way. Going to lube everything up. Some soapy water. To get started, I'm just going to try to push this bead down as much as I can then I'll take my tire spoon try to really start it I got it started by hand here now I'm just going to try to get the last little bit Easier than I thought. Now I'm gonna get the top started. Let's see if the tire spin will hold up here. Now oh, I should be able to get it. To set this bead, I have a tie down, and then this is one of my tire spoons. I'm just going to tighten this up until we get good contact here. Hopefully, I'll be able to blow this thing up. Bead is set. It's about to see and release this strap. Still got a seat on the back here. And the bead is seated. Now I'll put my valve core in. Maybe around these are like 12 or 15. Okay. 
Okay, I'm about 15 PSI. Now I'm gonna take some of my spray, spray it all around the bead, make sure there's no leaks here. Nothing in the valve stem. Looks good. I don't see any leaks, so now to do it to the back tires. That was nice. Gonna try some spoons. Beat set. Okay, it's back tires ready to go. I wasn't gonna film anymore, but I cannot get this uh, bead to seat. I went out and got myself a, a bead seeder. So I thought this would be pretty interesting. I'm gonna hook this up and see what happens. Absolutely nothing. All my tires are masked off, so I'm just gonna shoot them with a little paint. I'm just gonna use what I have, some flat black. Pretty much gonna just do that three more times. Alright, I'm happy with these. We'll go ahead and throw them back on the four wheeler. Here it is all put back together. Wheels and tires look pretty good. I'll take it for one more spin and see how it handles.
now I think everything works. I'm going to call it there. That's probably going to be the end of this Bayou 220 and the end of the video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.